Brennan. Bruner Atkinson with a two-hand. Atkinson spins around, extra move off the glass and good. The Top, easily broken by Yale, and that'll. Underneath, Atkinson puts it down with a two-hand jam. Left wing, drives, now leaves it off. Atkinson going to drive left side of the lane. Him against Anderson, Atkinson in midair, changes hands. Uncontested for the lay-in. Atkinson, open look, and he swirls it in. Atkinson not getting the score from those three guys you mentioned yesterday, and so far they're starting to put the ball in the basket. The margin has been very impressive what the Bulldogs have done. Atkinson turning away from Lewis. Rolling to the rim and throwing a down. And it's Jalen Gabbin on her on the floor, and there's Atkinson, makes his presence. Atkinson all the way. Up and under around Bayheim for two more. And one-handed slam. And with a switching defense. Atkinson, that's been his money spot. Tries to go reverse and finish. The state not able to convert. Atkinson. Inside pass, Atkinson ducks around a defender. There's Atkinson. Brings Yale within three. And he didn't touch anything on that shot. Atkinson oh. spins around him, makes him pay. <laughs> Atkinson drops down to a knee but keeps the dribble alive. Oberlin wanted to travel, instead he goes right under Otaz. Yeah, forcing Stony Brook into some tough shots so far here. Atkinson, double, doesn't matter. Harper Bruner, who's been quieted in the second half, but Atkinson has it. Yes, committed that last foul. 12-11, our score. At Atkinson, and with a right hand, he gets his third field. Yeah. Will feed. Atkinson, that's a, the call with Carter in the game. Oh. He's so tall, it's tough to beat a press when he comes around in that double. Atkinson floats it up in a ball game. Atkinson with that hook move, it's just too easy. Back to Atkinson against the Riri Guzzo, bump from behind. And that shows the straight, three straight Ivy Championships and a sweet 16 berth. About a decade ago, there's Atkinson and finally Especially in Ivy League play when teams are so familiar with each other, you need every advantage you can, especially from your bench. But Paul Atkinson, the early stages of this game. Atkinson, already he's got four. Give him six. This was their Achilles heel last night as well in the loss against Brown. Atkinson around Bruma. Atkinson flushes it home. This year, they don't have a... Amir Sims being the exception, they don't really have a whole lot of other options in the low post to try to create offense, so they got to rely on the three-point line. Atkinson, some pretty moves. He can handle it. Point forward for James Jones. Here's Atkinson trying to back in on Sims. And well done. Phenomenal today. Lob down into the post and an easy bump. Scott. Atkinson. Yes, at the... Under 10 to shoot. Nice touch pass by Bruner. The layup is good for the goal. Not a 20-minute man, more of a 30-minute man. 64% on the season. Atkinson, another inside take. And not to get into their face. Atkinson, another two-pointer. It's been textbook basketball for Yale, just like it's been textbook. Tonight, Atkinson baseline, Atkinson up and under from the right side. It's what you need to know. Feeding low for the stuff. And the Atkinson turn around hook shot. Atkinson underneath turns around once again and he goes over Oates. Yale when they made it in 2016 it was their first time since 1962. Now these two teams have turned into Ivy Blue Blood.
Back inside. Oh, good pass. And one for... And that may go without saying, but he had one of the biggest blocks of the season. Oh, it's Monroe with the quick pass to Paul Atkinson, the number one scorer in the Ivy League in terms of field goal percent. With a six-point loss here at home against Brown. Here's Atkinson working on Smoyer. He solved the riddle the first time. He does it again. And... 11 on the shot clock. Atkinson with 16 tonight. Seven on the shot clock. Give him 18. Dean Knoll with two fouls as well for Cornell. Inside to Atkinson. Working on Dixon. Atkinson off the window. Got it. Moment. It's no secret what Yale wants to do. Go to Atkinson early and often. He rewards him with Monroe on him. Atkinson. That one's five from the field. Atkinson working on Broder. Nice double spin. Ooh. Six minutes in the opener against Duquesne as Atkinson banks it in. You know, we've heard the term two-bit Ivy before as Atkinson. Yes, inside Atkinson, too easy. Career high for Brandon Robinson now. 17 points on the evening as Atkinson scores. To see how do you not get a kid of his caliber. Well, it's not easy to recruit. Atkinson calling for it in the post, and there's a reason why. Rebounds per contest into the post. Atkinson going to work. His turnaround flow. Feeds Bruner right wing. Monroe in the corner. Driving inside. Bounces across the lane to Atkinson. Right-handed hook. But they've seemingly found their stuff. Paul Atkinson, you thought, would throw it. Only Sony, but it's only their third three of the game. Atkinson right over. To the free throw line. Feeds low. And that'll yeah. be two more. Inside to Atkinson. Another assist from Jordan Bruner. Paul Atkinson lays it in. Down low to Atkinson, and he does it again. This game that he impacted Christine. Yeah, it's also the women's game. And once again, Paul Atkinson, the high percentage shots. He's up to 20. Bring up Monroe. Inside to Atkinson, who lays it in. Paul, three. Atkinson. Ahead to Atkinson, and the back. Bruner running point, threads the needle to Atkinson, and did they say interfere? Has the ability to do what he just did, get a defensive rebound and lead the break. And Bruner, alley -oop, and the bucket is good. How do you like that? Five on four right here. Atkinson once again down. Polanyi. <laughs> Atkinson wide open, straight on triple, and the big fill against the roll. Monroe trying to get around Martz. Now it's Atkinson again, and a need to Alausa. Alausa dishes across to Atkinson, and he lays it up. You saw right there. Good feed inside. Oh, board Atkinson. Bruner feeds it inside.